Before we solve this inequality, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Now for this inequality, this is the most complicated part, so I'm going to let u equals the square root of 2x plus 1. Now I'm going to write, make x the subject of this uh, formula. So u square both sides, u square u equals x 2x plus 1, and so x equals u square minus 1 over 2. Now, apart from rewriting the yellow part to be u, I'm also going to rewrite other parts in terms of u. So 4x squared is actually 2x whole squared. So I'm going to move the 2 back to the left hand side. 2x equals u squared plus 1. So that means 4x squared is actually u squared plus 1 whole squared. And also, of course, 2x plus 9 is equal to u squared plus 8. So now we can start solving the inequality. Now the inequality becomes u squared minus 1 whole squared over 1 minus u whole squared is less than u squared plus 8. Now for left hand side, we turn now to have to find that um, there is something that we can uh, cancel out on two side, two entries of the fraction. So let me rewrite the denominator to be u minus 1 whole squared and this whole thing is less than u squared plus 8 so we can cancel out u, uh, the u minus 1 whole squared and we'll have u plus 1 whole squared or um, to make things more rigorous I can do it this way by multiplying u minus 1 whole squared uh, to the other side it's um, so we have u minus 1 whole square times u square plus 8. So, and then I'm going to take out u minus 1 whole square as a common factor. So I have u minus 1 whole squared to be um, multiplied by u square plus 2u plus 1 minus u square plus 8 minus the whole quadratic expression and this whole product is less than zero so we can further simplify u minus one whole square multiplied by two u minus seven is less than zero so we must have two u minus seven to be less than zero and of course we can't have u to be one because when u is one then left hand side this whole bunch would then be zero. So that will um, make the inequality no longer hold. So that means um, u is less than seven over two. And of course, u is not equal to one. Now, remember that we are actually um, asked to solve for x. You see, our original variable is actually x. So we go back to square root of 2x plus 1 is less than 7 over 2. Of course, because we are um, dealing with a radical sign, so this whole expression must be uh, non-negative as well. This is a natural constraint. So square both sides. And solving will have minus 1 over 2 to be less than or equal to x, less than uh, 45 over 8. Of course, because um, u cannot be 1. So that means um, let's do it as a draft for u not equal to 1. That means 2x plus 1 is not equal to 1. So x cannot be 0. So that means I need to um, reject the case that x is equal to 0. So I have to split the in this inequality. And so we'll have x to be between minus a half and zero or between zero and 45 over eight. So this is our final solution.